hello to all my artsy friends. Today I'm sharing three Buffalo Check Kirkland's inspired dupes that have the same look for less money. I think these Dollar Tree DIYs came out looking so much like the originals, but I'll let you be the final judge on that. Let's get started on the first Kirkland's Dollar Tree DIY. I love traditional Christmas decor, and what's more traditional than a cute little snowman? This little guy was $20 at Kirkland's, but we will be making him for under $5. Here are some of the items I picked up at Dollar Tree for this project. This video is part of the Look for Less Challenge hosted by the Latina Next Door and her co-host this month is my friend Lisa Burningham. I love both of their channels so I will make sure to link those below along with the playlist showing lots of other DIYs that have the same look for less money. First, we're going to put together the snowman's top hat. I used some styrofoam and roughly cut out a couple circles and glued them together. Next, I took the lid of a mason jar and I wrapped it with the black felt that I found at Dollar Tree. I also wrapped the top of the hat and added the top part with some hot glue. I snipped away any rough edges and then I attached the two pieces together. I found this joy ornament at Dollar Tree and I thought the small little piece of garland on top would be a really good size to finish off the snowman's hat. I added some ribbon and then attached the garland. I want this snowman to stand on his own, so I had to flatten out the bottom of the styrofoam. Hey, if you're stopping by my channel for the first time, thank you so much for being here and visiting me on Artsy Cupcake. I really appreciate all your love and support on my channel. I'm Maria, and my passion is sharing ways to get creative in your home. I try to make my DIYs as simple and low cost as possible so that you can be ultra inspired to make something beautiful for your home. If you love home decor and DIY inspiration, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Now the snowman looked good as he was, but I thought adding a little bit of extra sparkly snow wouldn't hurt him. So I used this iridescent snow that I found at Dollar Tree. It's really pretty and sparkly. It does get everywhere though, so make sure to put it in some sort of controlled area like I've done here. I just used some Elmer's glue on the body and then I rolled him around in the snow. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of felt like I was making chicken parmesan, <laughs> just dredging the little guy in the snow there. While that dried, I grabbed my Sharpie paint pen in black and I used that to color the button type stickers. These will be his buttons and eyes. Now for the finishing touches, I got those sticks off of a tree in my front yard. His nose is just a stick that I broke at an angle and I used a little orange paint on it. Let's take a look at the comparison and how much we saved. What do you guys think? I just love when I can make something that is much cheaper than the original. So let's do another one. 
I've been wanting to make an advent calendar for a while now. So when I saw this one at Kirkland's, I thought it was really neat the way that it had a magnet that you can move from one day to the next. It is $15, but we are going to make ours for only $3. I had this Dollar Tree canvas from a previous project and I painted it black, a couple coats of black paint, and it was nice and solid. I attached some buffalo check ribbon that I had to the edges to create a kind of frame. Then I felt that the sides looked bare, so I added some pretty edging. I found this one at Dollar Tree. I want this to stand on its own, so I added some craft sticks to the back and those acted as a stand. I used the other half of the garland from the Joy Ornament and I added a small bell. I had two tiny magnets and I was planning on adding one to the back of the garland and then one behind the canvas, but the garland must have some sort of metal in it because it was already magnetic. So it sticks to the magnet behind the canvas all on its own. I love hearing from you guys, so please leave me a comment letting me know what you're thinking of all these dupes. So let's see the comparison on this one. I think we did pretty good. $16 for the set of two present ornaments. I loved the look with the buffalo check and thought that they would go really well with the other decor that I made, but I know we can do way better than $16 to make these. I had made these little blocks for a Thanksgiving project and we are going to upcycle them for these ornaments. These are just plain unpainted blocks that you can find at Dollar Tree. I started by trimming this buffalo check ribbon that I had to size and then I glued it into place. I like to use the wooden skewers from Dollar Tree to help me get the hot glue in place. Using this really helps me from burning my fingers. <laughs> Oh, and you guys, in my last Amazon craft haul video, I talked about how I've been waiting for my very old hot glue gun to die before I go and buy a new one. Well, while I was making these projects, it wasn't working for just a hot minute, but then I got it going again, so I think it's in its final days. Okay, next I trimmed off any little strings and then I added a burlap ribbon. I had never seen these garland ties before, so I had to pick those up. I plan on using these to make custom sized garland for my upcoming Christmas projects. And they were really easy to trim to size and I just glued some berries on top for the finishing touch. I also added a string so that when I get my Christmas tree up, I will be able to hang them on there. Let's take a look at the original compared to my version. Another awesome savings. This is just the start of my Christmas DIYs, so make sure to subscribe right over here if you want to see more DIYs coming up. And if you want to see more high-end home decor dupes right now, then I have a whole playlist full of them right over here. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.